Hey guys, welcome. Uh, so this is lesson four, I believe. Let's just change that real quick. I remember this is just a name, so it doesn't really matter. So in the previous video, we had you know some ba we had done some basic uh, additional function with this variable. So we had this variable equal to a, so a plus three, uh, and it, the system cast out eleven. Uh, but let's say right now, you know, maybe 11, you know, what's 11? How do you know it's money? How does the user know it's money? So let's try and put some words and combine, you know, words and uh, and numbers like together. You know, it, how, how do we say, for example, in this objective, we'll have, you know, how, how do we have the program say you have uh, money plus three or you have $11? Um, so you, you could just generally say you have $11. And this would definitely work out. Uh, except, you know, how do we integrate this money variable? Because this money variable can change any time, as you'll see in future videos. How can we just put, you know, money into this? We can't just put money here. Okay? Because uh, this is a piece of text. And this money, which is within this piece of text, does not actually represent money. It'll just say M O N E. Why? Um, it's not going to say eight in this case. Okay. So how do we have uh, the system say you have and then whatever money represents and then dollars? Okay. So in order to do that, uh, it's going to be quite straightforward as well. We'll, we'll keep this system dot our print line. Uh, we'll keep this you have because you know you have and then you want the money. So. What we do actually is we end this quote, um, and what this says is this piece of quotes is on its own. It's just a text, and it's going to be separated by an addition sign. So it's going to be like this piece of text. Uh, then, you know, then the actual variable, the integer variable, called money. Dollars is also another piece of text. We can't have it alone. We need quotation marks with it. Well, okay, um, and then also an addition sign. So these addition signs sort of separate the types of uh, you know variable with the quotation text. So we have the text and then plus the actual variable plus dollars. Um, let's just well, whoops. Let me just do lesson four. Whoops. Yeah. Compile. There. Yeah. You have eight dollars. Uh, now notice how there are actually no spaces here. It's not as professional looking as you might have hoped. Uh, that's because these spaces, you individually need to have spaces in there. Um, so when you have right over here, this right here is not a piece of text that's going to be spouted out, this addition sign. Um, you know, and the the amount of space here does not really matter. This is just the program is just gonna have, you know, this is just gonna be blank. It's not gonna be there. It's not gonna exist as a space. If you want to have a space in there, you have to do it within the these quotation marks. So if you wanted a space between have and then the money, you would just put a space here. Same thing with here. Uh, if you wanted space here, you just have this here. Just take this out just so it looks a bit better. We'll just compile again. Hopefully it looks a bit more better this time. Uh, whoops. Okay. Compile. There we go. You have eight dollars, right? Now maybe uh, eight uh, was a fluke. You know, maybe instead of eight, we'll say six or three. We can just compile that again. Just confirm and end off the video. There. So you have three dollars in this case because we replaced what money stands for with three instead of eight uh, the last time. So we're going to be doing a bit more cooler stuff in the next video. So join us um, and thank you for watching.